Hey guys, Smitty here. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. Today we are going to be switching it up a little bit and building on a budget. Today we're going to be doing a build challenge and the goal is to build a starter home with just 300 wood. So obviously not a lot to work with here, but I think we can still make something that looks good and is viable as an early game house. So without further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get right into it. Okay, so 300 wood, not a lot. Uh, I do have a design in mind that I think should come close to that, but we'll just kind of have to see how it goes as it progresses. Might have to be a little strategic with our resources. Uh, let's just lay out some ground rules for this build challenge. So one, 300 wood budget, already covered that. Uh, and two, let's just say that the 300 wood budget only considers the actual structure we are creating. So I think I'll probably do some general decorating at the end just to make it feel cozy and kind of show the full potential of our design, but things like chairs, beds, fires, etc., you, you know, that won't be considered in our budget. So, with that, let's just get kind of right into it. So, I have my 300 wood uh, in this chest over here. So, 100, 200, 300. Let's just grab the first 200 of our budget to start with. So, we're gonna have to again be pretty intentional with. How we use our resources. Uh, I think 300 wood's a good level because it doesn't take a ton of time to gather 300 wood. I feel like if you're starting out, uh, definitely doable. So uh, I think it should be appropriate for a little starter home. So what I think I want to do is let's go for a more like traditional, kind of like an A-frame, uh, kind of like longhouse design. Um, it's going to be quite compact. So let's just start out with maybe like. 3x3 three three in terms of these uh, wood floors. Actually, you know what? Let's push this back a little bit. So we'll start here. And I want to create a little offset part here. So I'm just going to create this wood beam here to create a connection point. And I'll remove that so we don't waste any of our uh, budget here. Yeah, just so it has a little bit of uh you know a bit of, a little bit variation in terms of the shape of this structure i think this will kind of be what we do let's get rid of that all right so we've already used almost 50 wood so this will be our platform I, we are going to build straight on the ground versus kind of uplifting it with some poles just again to kind of manage our resources here i think this is the most efficient way to do it so now i think what we're going to do is we're going to get right into the walls and usually I would use wood poles to kind of outline the structure, but in this situation where we're pretty restricted on resources, it's much better if we actually just put in walls and don't waste uh, the wood on, on the beams. So let's just do that. So far, kind of like a elongated cross design here. So... I think it's gonna kind of have like the A-frame comes through here and then also on this side and we'll kind of bring that to the ground here and it'll just kind of be I think a singular roof structure and we'll create some depth by having the actual wall go here and then the roof will just have a little bit of a lip and I think that'll look that'll look nice so let's do that for this side yeah yeah actually let's figure out what we're gonna do over here so I think I want to also create kind of a lip with the roof that's gonna come up this way so let's push this in just a little bit get that snapping point and then get that piece of wood back don't waste it and we'll build fill in like that so we're, I guess we're still net neutral because it still took two wood to build out each of those segments but i think design wise i think that's what i want to do so let's erase that pull these in then we'll go there all right how are we looking on wood so so 26 left of that stack i think we still have 100 left in here let's just see if we can grab it all right now Oh, not quite. We'll leave that last stack in here. Okay. 
think this back wall is probably just going to be... Yeah, it's going to be some kind of like... Yeah, we're going to have like a fireplace, I think. This back portion. So let's do that. Build it out here. Give me back my piece down here. All right. I think this should work. Kind of at least see what the uh, the layout of the foundation is going to be. Let's start laying in maybe some of our roof lines. Again, we got to be pretty economical with these beams. I don't want to use them everywhere, but we will use them just to kind of outline where we're going with the roofs. So we'll go 45 degrees. For this kind of A-frame design that we're looking at. I think we'll also do the same thing over on these corners. So I, I think I like how we space this out since this is only two. And then this section is three. This roof actually is going to push up just slightly higher. Uh, then this roof that comes across. So yeah, it's just gonna make it look a little more interesting with some of the different levels of the different kind of roof segments, I think. So get these ones in. And then in the back, probably be something similar. Gotta be kind of cognizant of that chimney that's going up, so. It's just, uh, I don't know if we want to cap that quite yet. I'll just leave that for now. Alright, and let's just grab this last stack just so we have a clear idea of uh, just how much we'll have left here. So, what do we have? 150. We have like 180 wood left. Let's start laying in our roof. This is going to take up a good amount of our resources here, but it should be okay. So this section only goes up two segments. And this kind of middle part goes up two and a half, kind of. It's not quite three. But with that cross section, we'll just push up just a little bit higher here. Get that all the way across. And then we'll kind of lay this in. Same thing on this side. Should all match up. Actually, we probably don't want this one because... Yeah, yeah, because that chimney is going to come up this way. So maybe we'll do that. Yep. That'll work. Gotta make sure we direct the smoke out of here. So let's do that. And then maybe we'll just... Cap it like that so it looks nice. Okay. Well, so we got a little over a hundred wood left. Uh, ooh, okay, so we're coming down to it here. <laughs> so let's just start boxing some of this stuff in. I'm gonna line the fireplace because I think that's necessary. Let's move that out because that's where the fire will go. We stay neutral in terms of resources there. All right, last hundred wood. Let's see if we can kind of get the walls in. And if we have any, hopefully we have something left for detailing, but we'll just have to see. Maybe we'll... This? Could work. Create like a split where we put the beams up like this. All right. Don't look totally closed off. Do that. Make sure I grab back my piece of wood. Same on this side as well. 
Okay. What I also want to do is maybe just... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I have the budget for that yet. So let's just see these other sides. What we can kind of do here. So let's... Split there. And we split here as well. I think I kind of want to leave both these sides as windows. Hmm. Let's do this. Grab those. This back. That's how I want to split it up. Let's create some more snapping points here. Throw in some beams. Yeah. I like that. I do like, again, how we kind of create this little lip, this little overhang under each of these segments so it doesn't look so flat with the face of the wall. That, I think that just looks a little bit better. Okay, so the structure is like pretty done. We do have a little bit of our budget left to maybe do a little bit of more like decorative bits just to uh, make it look a little better. So maybe we'll, what I'll do is I'll like some place up here, we have a little square window. That works. Oh, also, got a door. Got enough of a budget for a door, so let's do that. Okay. That'll work. Um, I think I want to just that up there. Yeah, why not? We can afford it. Line these a little bit nicer. Same thing on the other side. Okay, we're getting down to our last 50 wood here. Let's, uh, hmm. Gotta work through this. Wonder. Maybe, ah, uh, no. Gotta be. Gotta be that. Yeah. That. Put that in there. And I suppose we'll do the same on the other side. So let's. That. And. Work. Alright. 38 wood left. Maybe we'll just kind of. Bring this ledge out just a little bit. Create a little bit more depth in that windowsill. Also place some of these beams here. Yeah, that works. We do something similar here in the front. Create a little bit more depth. Yeah, I think that that works. Let's do these. Yeah, that yeah, looks all right. Just more like garnish, kind of like the garnish for your for your house. Oh, actually, so we can afford it. Let's just place some of these cross pieces on the side. Well, yeah, yeah, that looks nice. And then. Hmm. Maybe we'll line this so we can. Oh, I'm down to it. Oh, all right, we have one wood left. Where will it go? Here? I don't know, maybe we'll put something on it or something like that. Ooh, actually, look at that. Surprise, we actually have two more wood to utilize. Where? How we use it. Maybe we outline the windowsill a little bit more? Like that? Not bad. Yeah, adds a little bit more texture in the front there. Okay, cool. So now we are officially at 300 wood. Alright, cool. So yeah, 300 wood. Nothing groundbreaking, but I think it's a clean design. Uh, definitely that traditional A-frame look, which is nice and yeah, again, 300 wood. I think that's super viable for anyone who's just starting out. You should be able to gather that pretty easily. So what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go ahead and decorate this. Uh, just kind of 
see what the full potential is of this design and try to make it nice and cozy. So again, this won't factor into our 300 wood budget, but this is just kind of for fun. So I'll just do that offline real quick and then we'll come back and take a look at the final build. All right, see you in a sec. All right, guys, so just for fun, again, we decorated it. Uh, did my best to try to keep it as you know, kind of low level starter house decorations as possible, although I did indulge myself in certain areas like for instance, the hanging braziers is obviously not a starter house type decoration, but it just looks so good. So had to include it, but really like the feel of it. Uh, looks like it really fits in this world again with that kind of traditional A-frame design. We go in, uh, again, try to keep it very low level, but again, just feels cozy. And feels like it would kind of be like a viable starting shelter for someone just, just beginning their Valheim adventure. And then from here, you can obviously Expand out, build maybe some storage sheds or someplace to cook all your foods, things like that. So definitely something different here with the build challenge and building on a budget, but fun exercise nonetheless. If you guys enjoy these types of videos where I kind of constrain my resources or do any kind of build challenges, definitely let me know down in the comments. Uh, and let me know if you have any suggestions for different constraints I should put on myself. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.